lovelies i just wanted to do a little check-in today and it is the 12 12 portal which is super exciting because it's all about union of our masculine and feminine energy divine energy and new beginnings and an opportunity to release old patterns stories behaviors that are no longer perhaps in alignment or sort of serving us on this next path um, in honour of the masculine energy, I've lit a candle, which really symbolises like the energy of the sun, which is within all of us. I've also, a very good friend of mine, Holly, got me this as a gift for my birthday. And there's an energy here of the butterfly and the feather and also the colour blue, which for me really symbolises well silver really represents our feminine energy and the butterfly, the lightness and... Also, the butterfly really symbolizes evolution and transformation. And this can really also be tapped into our intuitive side with the energy of the moon. And I've also brought up a piece of rose quartz, which really connects deeply to the heart and an opportunity to know what the message is that the heart wants us to, to hear and listen. And this energy as well the 12 12 portal is really about bringing union of the mind and body heaven and earth through the connection the bridge of our heart so in the rebecca campbell deck work your light oracle cards which i'm using today um i've split i've shuffled and i'm asked i have asked what does my mind body and heart want myself and the collective to to know or perhaps a message and I've split the deck into three so I'm going to restack them round now and um splitting from left to right so I'm just gonna trust and pick so the first card represents mind second card body and I'm going to take this end card for heart I'm just going to move these out of the way thank you thank you thank you so the first card what does our mind want us and need us to know especially for this 12 12 portals wait postpone pause and say no now this is really really quite prominent for me at the moment with what's going on in the collective because with this season we're sort of being encouraged by society and all programming and conditions to go out and be in the lights and go shopping and like be really busy and hustle and bustle and be in this energy of of doing however for me the message that actually came through for me today when i was meditating was Start saying more no's and putting in um, more boundaries and saying no as well, like mentally, no to the temptations of of maybe keeping yourself busy rather than going inwards and retreating because it is winter and it is a time for deep reflection and hibernation and an opportunity for us to really pause and put ourselves first whereas the mind is potentially going to be like well this isn't what we normally do so the mind wants us to know on a conscious level that it's okay to say no it's okay to wait and postpone and pause and say no to what maybe is coming to you or maybe calling you to sort of have attention on so I don't know if that resonates with any of you. So I, that's really prominent for me. So I'm really grateful. Second card represents what our body wants us to know and listen to. And this is the priestess card. So how are you being called to step up and lead? And this card for whether you're someone that um, maybe shares knowledge or follows certain... Um, groups or is in in circles or just doing your own practices it's an opportunity for us to really tune into what our body is asking us to to do because inside of our bodies is all of our gifts all of our gifts from our wisdom from our heritage from our ancestors from all the things that we've picked up along our way and it's an opportunity for us to really step into into it and embody our gifts and embody what we've come here to do and it doesn't necessarily mean that you're ready to take action on something right now but it's an opportunity for you to 
actually start honoring your body so that you create the space to allow the gifts to come through. So for example, if your body is really tired and burned out and you know you haven't been saying no and you've been constantly doing, then we're not going to create that space to welcome in that divine feminine energy of, of listening, of listening to what our body needs on a deep intuitive level and part of listening is is being able to say no and using that masculine energy to have the confidence and to have the strength to say no this isn't what I want right now and this isn't what I need however the priestess energy is going to call you to step and lead by taking responsibility and stepping into what your body requires from you to be able to take this next progression or it might even be not necessarily jumping from one thing to the next, but saying I am burned out and I am maybe tired and maybe I haven't been looking after myself. And, you know, what am I filling my body with? What am I what am I putting in? Because that will generate out. And if we're putting in like measly attempts of of whether it's certain foods or whether it's um, information from socials or whether it's just from family, friends and you know, not necessarily coming from a space of, of of harshness or coming from a space of maybe manipulation. Instead, coming from that space of I'm stepping into my priestess energy and part of my priestess energy means me stepping into my power and putting my needs and my wants and my desires first and I am my priority so that I can start leading with this divine feminine energy that is rising from within me. So again, I don't know if this resonates or how this sits with you. Um, but I hope there was maybe a message in there for you. Definitely was for me. And this last card is what our heart wants us to know. And our heart is the bridge between heaven and earth and the bridge between the mind and the body, which is really what the 1212 portal is here for, the union. And it is the heart that is the union and, and, and the heart anchors in our soul as well. So the heart wants us to know boundaries. And I don't know how fitting this is for this, but I have to laugh because I know so many of you are going to be like, yep, yep. So for me, before this journey sort of began, I didn't even know what the word boundary meant. And it was a good friend of mine that said something because I said, oh, why, is, why is this person saying no to me? Like, it's a problem. And they was like, well, they're just putting in their boundaries. And I'd been so used to being entitled to getting people's attention and people's... Um, dropping things for me and doing what I asked that when someone actually first time around and said no I didn't know that that was what a boundary actually was and I'm really grateful it was my brother actually that turned around and said no he would not do that for me because I got so offended and it began this journey of boundaries for me and when we put boundaries in and you know a boundary might be taking a um putting your phone on silent and having it in a different room perhaps if it's a distraction a boundary might be getting yourself to bed a bit earlier so you maybe have some more energy in the morning to do different practices a boundary could be um, setting an alarm on your phone to remind you to take a five minute break every couple of hours if you're maybe sitting in a certain position a boundary could be um, putting your body's needs first before your work needs or it doing an email so for example a boundary for me now is like oh I really need a wee rather than oh, I'm just going to check that email or or reply to that person a boundary could be just accepting that your heart needs boundaries and to have boundaries we must listen to the boundaries of our body, the boundaries of our mind and the boundaries of our heart. And it's about being flexible with our boundaries. So sometimes we can put a boundary in just for a certain period because maybe it's what we require. So for example, at the moment, one of the boundaries that I've decided to set going forwards over these next couple of weeks, because my moon cycle is due as well, is to put better boundaries in around me being on WhatsApp groups and messages put boundaries into, put a little bit more support in for me when I'm doing my practices and just to have 
um, flexible boundaries when I choose to move my body, when I choose to sleep, maybe taking rest more frequently rather than being like, no, it has to be at this time or I eat at this time or I do this. So having flexible boundaries with confidence and bringing that union of the mind, the body and the heart. So happy 1212 portal. Um, sending you all so much love and light. Let me know if maybe any of this resonated. I hope you have an incredible, incredible day, week, month. Send in so much love and light. Mwah.